y'all? It's your girl Federica MUA. Got my baby back here handling the camera for me. What it do? <laughs> Today, I got my boxy charm in, y'all. So I couldn't wait. Oh, I got it upside down. <laughs> I couldn't wait to try some of the items in here. So today's video, I'm just gonna be just like doing the makeup on some of the items I got. And hope you enjoy the video. Oh, I forgot. Subscribe to this channel, y'all, okay? And click the bell to receive notifications so you won't miss nothing, okay? And like this video. Bye. Peace. Okay, starting off with an item from my BoxyCharm. It's the Wonder Beauty Baggage Claim Gold Eye Mask. So these eye masks is a very important step, you know, in your skincare regimen. It's really good to take care of your under eyes. So these foiled under eye masks, they brighten, hydrate, and reduce the appearance of dark circles. So next, I'm gonna use another item from my box of charm, which is their cuticle oil. And this is from the brand NCLA, and it's called So Rich Lollipop Lollipop. Very important to take care of them cuticles too, y'all. Okay, next, I'm gonna start off with the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Amplifying Eye Primer. So I usually prime my eyelids because they're, they're kind of on the oily side. So I usually do that step before I start any like eyeshadow or concealer or whatever. So I'm just blending that in with my finger. So now I'm gonna start off with the brows. So I'm using the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in the color Chocolate. So I'm just filling in my brows with that. And I'm using one of the paint brushes that I got from, I think I got it from Hobby Lobby. I love those brushes. They really come in handy when you're using gels and liquids. And they're, they're on the cheap side, but it works wonders. And they're really soft too. So I'm just creating that line. I don't know what I was jamming to, but. <laughs> I'm just finishing the brows up. So now I'm gonna try another item from my boxy charm, which was a miss for me when I use it as a brow line. I mean, a, a eyeliner, I'm sorry. So it was kind of dry when I try to use it. So I'm just going to attempt it for my brows because I haven't tried it on my brows yet. So I'm gonna see how they turn out. Just, you know, just to see. Cause you can use it in different ways. Uh, the Bang Beauty Chocolate Eyeliner. So you can use it as an eyeliner, eyeshadow base, or even to touch up your, brow your brows. So just trying that out. So as you can see, it's not showing up on my skin at all so I just keep trying to try to make it work but the good thing is about this brow pomade or brow cream whatever I can use it on some of my clients that's on like the lighter side because on my skin tone it just wasn't working you can see I'm shaking my head no so I went back to the Anastasia dip brow pomade um, you know just to finish up my brows with that So now I'm going to clean up the brows with the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the color Caramel. So I'm just creating the line under the brows to give it like a sharp look. To make it look like really neat. And I'm using another one of my paint brushes with that as well. So now, another item for my boxy charm is the Tarte Lifted Sweatproof Mascara, and that's in the color Black Brown. So, what I done was use it as a brow gel, which worked perfect as a brow gel. Oh my gosh, I love this as a brow gel because as a mascara, you know, my skin tone is not working for my skin tone. 
that's a brow gel it's perfect so now I'm taking the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the color what color is this a Monday and just just going over my lid the top part of my lid and then I'm just gonna blend that out with my blending brush Blending that out. And I usually use the Amande um, closer to my skin tone. So I usually use that color. So now I'm going to set my eyelids while I apply the concealer with my Sasha Buttercup setting powder. I love that setting powder. It's a really good one. So just taking that brush and just pressing it in and just set my concealer. I usually don't do that when I'm using shadows but with this one I don't I don't know how it'll blend out you know so I just set it first. So now I'm using the Laura Lee Los Angeles Party Animal Eyeshadow Palette that came in my BoxyCharm. So I'm starting off with the orange color that's going to go in my crease. So that color is called Drinks. And the whole thing about Laura Lee, I just heard about it. You know, I didn't know at first. <laughs> so I'm just going to overlook that. But I like this palette. Some good colors. And of course, I want to try it out because it was in my boxy charm. So now I'm going to take the purple color, which is called Hangover. And I'm just going to blend that on top of the orange that I put in my crease. Just kind of blending those two together. Now the same color on the other eye. Just blend it out, just blend it with the orange. So now I'm taking a clean blending brush and just blending it all out to remove any harsh lines or whatever. So now I'm taking that orange again and going back on top of there because sometimes when you add another color on you know on top of the crease color you started it takes away from it so I'm just adding more of that color it's called drinks which is the orange color so now I'm taking my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the color caramel and I'm just creating that little halo in the middle so when I look up because I have hooded eyes, I look up to create that cut crease line where I need to begin my cut crease set. And which is a little bit above my natural crease. So I'm just creating that. And I'm just gonna keep that in the middle, in the middle of my eye. Crease a little bit more. <laughs> I always laugh in my face when I'm doing my eyes. <laughs> okay, so now I'm taking the color, the pink color. It's called Bottoms Up. So I'm going to place that on top of where I put that concealer. I'm just patting it on top of there. That is a really pretty pink. It's vibrant. So this is my vibrant party look, even though I don't go anywhere. <laughs> 
so if you like to party this is a really good look for you okay so now I'm going to take more of that purple which is called hangover and I'm just going over the outer corner again just to intensify it in the inner corner so now I'm going to take that purple with my BH is that I think it's the pencil brush yes it's the pencil brush so I'm taking it to cut that crease some more to define the cut crease more with that purple so now I'm going to the other eye with the NARS Radiant Cream Concealer and I'm going to look up again to create that cut crease with hooded eyes which is above your natural crease. So I'm just applying that in the middle of my lid with that concealer. Just going through the same steps. And I'm applying more of that pink color, which is called Bottoms Up. So I'm just patting that in there. intensifying the outer corner and the inner corner with that purple called hangover taking that pencil brush to and cut the crease a little bit more with that purple so now I'm going under eye so I'm starting off with the orange it's called drinks And now I'm taking that purple color called Hangover and I'm blending that under eye also, but I'm leaving out the middle part of the under eye because that's where I'm going to apply that pink. So now I'm taking a little bit of concealer to just place that on the middle part of my under eye. And that way when I place that pink on there to pop, I'm taking that pink called Bottoms Up. I'm just going to place that in the middle where I put that concealer. Now taking off the eye patches, the treatment has settled in really good and it feels real good taking it off as well. So a good thing is to dab it in. Okay, now I'm taking the NYX gel liner. I'm just going to line my eyes with that. Use another one of my paint brushes, one of the striper brushes. That's perfect for gel liners. I love it. So now I'm taking my MAC pigment, it's called Melon, so I'm highlighting my brow bone. I love to use that pigment for highlight, I love that color. So now I'm highlighting my tear duct with the Melon.
So now I'm taking my Wonder Beauty Mascara. That's a really good mascara. It came to my last month's BoxyCharm. So now I'm gonna prime my face with the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Soft Matte Primer. So I'm just gonna rub that in my skin. Always wanna prime your face before you do a liquid foundation. And that way it'll last all day. So now I'm taking my Too Faced Born This Way foundation in the color Butter Pecan. Dabbing that extra on there that I had on there. <laughs> so now I'm taking my Damp Beauty Blender and blending it out. Blend, blend, blend. It's important to blend it out really good. So now I'm taking my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the color Caramel. So I'm just going to go under eye, the bridge of my nose. Forehead, all that. Just hitting the points where I want to highlight what a light naturally hits your face. That's why I add a little concealer at. And just a tad bit lighter than my natural skin tone. So I'm blending it out with another damp beauty blender. So now I'm taking my Sasha Buttercup setting powder and I'm going to set that concealer. I'm just pressing that in with my damp beauty blender. Not too big on baking, so I'm just pressing that in the skin. Okay, so I'm taking the MAC Mernalize Skin Finish in the color Medium Deep, just to set the rest of my face. Now I'm taking the MAC Mernalize Skin Finish in the color Dark Deepest, and that's to warm up my face. So now I'm taking Note Cosmetics, their blush called Desert Rose. It's a really pretty blush. So I'm apply that to my cheeks very lightly. So now I'm taking my NYX contour palette. And I'm taking a dark brown, just 
the contour. Now I'm blending that contour out some with that powder that I had left on my brush, the mineralized skin finish. So now I'm contouring the nose. So it's good when you contour the nose, it's good to like blend it out with your brow so it won't leave no like harsh lines where you see, you see where it begin or end or whatever. So it's just good to just blend it like all together so it just looks natural okay so now i'm taking more of that mac pigment in the color melon that pigment is so pretty so i'm just highlighting with that i usually like to blend it out some with my finger And when I highlight my nose, the bridge of my nose, I use my finger to do that as well. <clears throat> so now I'm taking more of that Wonder Beauty mascara, just applying it to my bottom lashes. So now I'm using the Smashbox Be Legendary Pucker Up Lip Palette. Um, so I'm gonna start off with the color Jam On It, that pretty purple color. That palette is so cute, like the lips change. <laughs> That's so cute. So I'm creating like an ombre look. Just wanna match my eyes. So now I'm taking the Stella, their liquid lipstick. It's the Stay All Day liquid lipstick in the color um, Amalfi. So I'm applying that in the middle. Just blotting it to kind of blend it together to create a nice ombre look. Nice purple and pink ombre. So the setting spray I'm using is the Tarte Ready Set Radiant Skin Mist. So that's the completed look guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please make sure you subscribe to my channel and click the bell to receive notifications each and every time I upload a video. And like this video, leave comments, share, whatever. Be blessed. Bye.